I've come down to Crufts today because I love animation art. I work in animation. I do the voices for a lot of cartoon characters. And I know these guys in the Generation uh, Gallery from Manchester who are here. And uh, pretty much I just came down to have a look at this stuff because I love Scooby-Doo. Every now and then I get brought in to do um, all kinds of uh, uh, Scooby-Doo characters as well as loads of other stuff that I work on. But, uh, but yeah, so there's this stuff here, the stuff on the walls here, and I came to meet up with these guys and just and see what they've been up to. But it's a treat for me, because this is it's, it's really cool. But like, you know, like, um, it's really groovy, school, Right, school, Yeah. Scooby-dooby-doo! <laughs> That's why I'm here. I love all this stuff, because I grew up as a massive fan of Hanna-Barbera cartoons. So um, Hanna Barbera and Warner Brothers, and it's this this piece here is signed by Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera, who are Hanna Barbera. It's also signed by Awa Takamoto, who was the guy who the, the, it, basically he drew this stuff. And to have all these cool characters and signed by that is pretty rare. There's also a piece they got there, another piece, uh, a Scooby Doo original cell. Now originally these these all these cartoons were made by they started off with a pencil sketch drawing and then that was copied onto a piece of cell which was then inked and painted basically. Now it's pretty much all CGI. Uh, so to see stuff like this is really quite rare. So that's why I've come down because I like this stuff. I'm hoping I might get a deal. I live really close to where Crufts happens. The NEC in Birmingham. It's the first time I've ever been to Crufts. But it's an amazing place and they take over the whole thing. It's, it's enormous. It's a great day. I'm enjoying the day. I grew up as a massive fan of a guy called Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc was the guy that worked on, he worked on Hanna-Barbera cartoons, but he was the guy that Warner Brothers brought in. He was the voice of Sovereign Thuggatash, you're despicable. This is the last time I worked with some with a speech impediment. And Mel Blanc was the guy that went, yeah, what's up, dog? Where, bitch? Who ain't I a stinker? He did loads of these characters. But there's, uh, and they were really influential to me, and now I get brought in by um, some of my heroes to do voices for their work. So I've been lucky enough to work with George Lucas on Star Wars. Um, I did a character called Axmo, who's like a, a, he's got a cow head and three eyes. You know, another day at the office. There's, um, in America, I'm the voice of Bob the Builder. Hi, Bob the Builder, how are you? Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a concrete bridge, which is a real practical skill for a five-year-old. It's really worth it. And then there's, um, there's a lovely show in the morning called Fifi and the Flower Tots. And I play the voice of Bumble, this little boy be this legend to Polly, he's all bunged up and slugs it slug. He was quite adorable. And there's, there's a show I do with Peter Kay called Rory the Racing Car. And Peter Kay does a, a character called Big Chris. It's on in the morning on Milkshake on Channel 5. And I do six characters on that side. So I'm a little rabbit called Flash, who's a right little tinker, like, likes mucking around. And I'm a, I'm a racing car called Maxi. Mamma mia, Rory, I beat you in the race. But there's, there's loads of stuff that I do day to day. Um, but this, to see some of the original art that I grew up with and that inspired me, it's kind of cool, so you know, that's, that's why I'm coming here. This I really like, it's a limited edition, there's only about 95 pieces of it, and it's of a storyboard from Wallace and Gromit. Um, and that's something that GenerationGallery.com do really well. They've got a massive collection of all kinds of stuff. So whether it's, you know, Muhammad Ali or Elvis or Scooby-Doo or Aardman, there's, um, there's a lot that you can fill your house with. So I have. <laughs>